Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today I wanted to share with you how to draw Coca-Cola can with Copic markers. So for this video, I'm going to use Copic markers and you can see color swatches on the right. And I'm also going to use erogeton colored pencils, just two of them and also white pen and white pencil. So I'm going to use Copic sketchbook. You can use any other marker paper you like. And I also created a free coloring page for you, which you can download in the description of this video. I usually start my drawing by putting a trace of paper or just a sheet of thick paper under my drawing so I can protect the next page of my sketchbook. And I always have a small piece of paper on the side so I can test colors, do swatches and see how color looks like before drawing on the sketchbook. When I draw with markers, I always try to follow the same rules. For example, I start with light colors and later I add darker ones because it's much easier to draw, for example, reflect, reflected light and core base color of the object and later add shadows and details. And I hope it makes sense for you. I start by drawing a reflected light with rose mist Every object has reflected light, and in this case, Coca-Cola can has reflected light on both sides of the can, on the left and on the right. So when you draw with crimson later, try to uh, leave a little bit of space on each side, because it will help us to create uh, the, the shape, the cylindric shape of the can later and I'll show you how. So um, right now I started drawing the base color which is in this case crimson and the very important thing here try to be as careful as possible when you outline letters because uh, it's gonna be hard to fix. It's possible it's absolutely possible and I'll show you how uh, to fix um, any mistakes, but just just be careful and carefully outline the letters with this crimson color.
As you see, I left a little bit of white space on the right, so we can draw another reflected light on the right side of the can. And as you see, I'm blending this rose mist color into crimson. And this is another tip for you today. You can create a seamless, beautiful gradation um, only while markers are still wet. Because as you see, I'm trying to do the same on the left side of the can, but the gradation is not as seamless as I would love it to see. So always try to blend markers while they are still wet. And obviously it depends on the paper. If you if uh, paper soaks in very fast um, and in dries out, it wouldn't be as seamless as possible. So try to do this blending on different paper and see how it looks like because it obviously depends on the paper. There are a couple of different ways of drawing highlights on the object. I decided to leave just blank paper and you can undo the same or you can uh, use a uh, white pen or white pencil later and draw your highlights on top of the marker, which is also an option in case you forgot to leave uh, just space or highlights.
So right now I'm gonna use the same RV29 as we used for our base color and I'm gonna darken the parts which are close to, to the reflective light and to help us to create this kind of rounded cylindric shape. Later we're gonna darken these parts with darker marker but right now I wanna do it just step by step with the same color. Sometimes when you layer the same marker twice or three times it helps you to kind of create shadow as well. So I hope you can see the difference. And later obviously we're gonna add shadows using darker color but right now let's just use this crimson to darken uh, parts of the can and to create this kind of cylindric shape. And now it's time to start doing shadows. I'll use R56 and I'll start drawing like layering vertical strokes and kind of following the vertical shape of the can. And later I'll use the same RV29 crimson just to soften this uh, edge between shadow and base color so we can create just seamless edge and help like our cylinder be more beautiful and seamless and create this kind of rounded shape.
the top and bottom parts, I will use C1 cool gray color. And I want you to be careful here because sometimes red color can bleed into light colors, into light gray, for example. It usually doesn't happen to copied markers, but it also depends on the paper. But for sure, just test it out before uh, drawing on your on your on your sketch. And I also use the same color for letters, and I only draw with with this C1 color in the shadows because the light part, the lights, are gonna stay the same as the paper. Basically, I'll leave it blank paper. As a next step, I use gold gray number three to draw shadows on the top and bottom of the can. And sometimes you can actually use uh, the same color a couple of times to make shadows darker. So for example, you draw with gold gray number three one time, then let it dry and draw with the same color on top again, and you'll see it will make your shadow darker. But in this case, I will use um, cool gray number five later. You'll see that to, to add more depth to the, to the shadow and to the shape of the can. This is what I mentioned before. I'm using the same cool gray number three to draw on top of the shadow again. So it makes like color darker and adds more depth to the shade. And now let's draw the shadow of the can again. This is gonna be the darkest color we're gonna use today for this drawing and it's RV69 and as you see I hold both markers crimson the base color we used and this one the new one RV69 and basically what I do I draw the shadow by following the shape like vertical shape of the Coca-Cola can and I'm blending the edge of the shadow into the base color. So we have this seamless, beautiful, like gradation transition uh, of the colors, and it will help us to create this beautiful, cylindric, uh, more realistic uh, kind of form. 
and as you see I'm blending it like immediately because as you remember I mentioned that it's much better to blend two markers while they are still wet because otherwise we're gonna end up with a like edge with, which gonna be hard to blend and um, this way it's, it's much easier just draw shadow and then blend with base color and continue drawing shadows um, just following by following the shape So as you see, I did a mistake. I didn't do that on purpose. I drew with red color on the gray part of the can. But let me show you how to fix that. So I'm using Colorless Blender. And what it basically does, it dissolves the color and helps it disappear almost like. And what basically I do, I drew with this blender on top of my mark. And sometimes I just clean the blender on the side paper, as you see on the left, because sometimes, because it's red color and uh, this blender doesn't have any color and sometimes it's a, it absorbs a little bit of red. So I clean this blender and come back and try to almost erase this mistake. And after a while, you'll see how it disappears. And after it dries out, uh, it's almost, like you, you almost don't see it again or you can fix it additionally with white pen or white pencil So right now I'm blending all the colors together, trying to create this seamless, beautiful gradient. And um, I think it's pretty like obvious how to do that. But if you have any questions or if you want me to create a separate video on how to blend copics and how to create this beautiful, seamless gradation, seamless gradients, let me know in the comments below and I'll create a separate video for you.
Sometimes when you use Blender to correct mistakes, it can create some kind of halo around the, the part you tried to correct. So later try when it dries out to draw with the same like colors to correct that part and it should help. <laughs> Otherwise you can always use, as I mentioned before, white pen or pencil and it's pretty easy to, to do. And right now I'm using uh, gold gray number five and what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to uh, kind of add details and I'm trying to darken some parts for example, under the top part, top gray part of the can, we can see it's it's pretty dark line which separates the red part and the gray part. So um, basically I just darken, I'm looking at the reference and darken parts which are uh, needs to be dark. <laughs> And I included all the references together with a coloring page so you can uh, also look at them and see how you can draw using reference. Maybe you want to look at my video and later draw everything all by yourself or maybe it's much easier to you to follow this video and color the coloring page. So right now I use the same RB29 Crimson color, the one we used as a base color for this Coca-Cola can. And um, basically I just darken some parts or I blend, uh, for example, shadow and base color at the parts where they didn't blend well. Sometimes it helps and it also creates like more neat and more seamless gradient. And here's another example on how you can use Blender with markers. I already showed you how to correct mistakes with Blender. And Blender can also help you to make your color lighter. So for example, right now I draw with Blender on top of the red color and it makes red color lighter and helps to emphasize the form of the shape. And you can also draw with Blender to make, like, to correct highlights or, for example, to correct reflected light. For example, if it's too dark, you can make it lighter also by using Blender or if you like, you can also use it to, to make the shape of the can even more cylindric uh, because as you see, I draw with Blender and it creates like a little bit lighter stroke and it looks like a highlight a little bit. And also you can correct the letters in case you like me drew with red marker inside the letter by mistake so this is a great tool i really like it try to use it in your drawings as well if you don't have blender you can try using white soft pencil pastel pencil for example would work perfectly in this case and it will create a little bit different look but at the same time it would work perfectly in case you want to make the base color lighter
now it's time to add details to our drawing. I will be using colored pencils from my Aerogitan collection, but you can use any other pencils you have. I usually use pencils because it helps uh, kind of underline and emphasize different parts of the shape. And it also kind of adds a little bit more interesting look to the drawing. Right now I'm using the Uniposca white pen to correct letters. And it's a great opaque pen, which works perfectly when you draw on top of the marker. If you don't have this white Uniposca pen, you can try using a regular white gel pen or a white pencil. They both would work perfectly in this case, uh, but I highly recommend you to try this white Uniposca pen. It's opaque, it's perfect for correcting mistakes or adding highlights, or if you want to, to draw on dark paper, on black paper, for example, it's also a great tool to use. I also wanted to show you how you can use white pastel pencil to draw highlights. In this case, I'm using a very soft white pastel pencil and as you see, it works perfectly. So definitely try using white pencils when you draw with markers and see if you like it. And now it's time to add details. I'm gonna use two colored pencils, maroon and indigo. And basically I'm gonna emphasize the, the shape of the can, also darken shadow a little bit, correct letters, and just darken even more the dark parts with this indigo blue pencil. And it'll help us to create even more cylindric rounded shape and it will add more realistic look to our drawing.
this point, I decided to add more details to my drawing. If you take a look at the photo reference, you see that Coca-Cola can has a lot of information on it. So I decided to draw words and add like additional typography to it. You can totally skip this step if you don't want to draw something like this. Uh, but I think it adds, it makes sketch much more interesting and it makes it look more like a sketch and less like a photo. <laughs> and I think I'll make add details and see how it looks like. And I think this is it for now. We are done with the first part of our sketch and in the next video I'll show you how to draw the rest of it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And also please let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. 
don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.